everybody welcome to yoga with Catherine. today i'm going to be taking you through a morning yoga routine nothing sets us up better for the day than having a good morning routine and there are so many amazing benefits of practicing yoga in the morning like reducing muscle stiffness and tension helping our nervous system be calm and collected improving our clarity of mind and so much more so let's not talk too much more about it let's just hop on our mat and get straight into it all right, so we are gonna begin in child's pose. Bring your knees out as wide as the mat. Walk your hands all the way forward as you sink your chest down towards the mat and rest your forehead down on the ground. Deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. Start to become aware of the sensations in your body and notice how you feel this morning. Bring awareness to an intention that you would like to set for the day ahead. If you're not quite sure how to set an intention, just pick a word, something that you want to just guide you through the day. So. For me, I'm going to set an intention to be mindful. And just create a nice, relaxed cadence of breath. Deep inhales through the nose and relieving exhales out through the mouth. Inhale, walk your hands over to the right, deep side body stretch along the left. So you should feel this in your shoulder, along the side of your chest, and maybe down to your hip. Keeping your breath nice and steady. Not allowing yourself to hold your breath. It's something that we tend to do when we are in a new position or our body's just really focusing on being somewhere. So try to keep the breath nice and steady. From here, place your right hand beneath your right shoulder and twist over to the right. So getting deep into the shoulder here. One more inhale. Exhale, release back down. Bring your right hand back up and then walk your hands over to the left deep side body. Stretch along the right. Allow your chest to sink towards the mat. Keeping the breath steady. Place your left hand beneath your left shoulder. Twist over to the left. Deep into your right shoulder. Last inhale here. Come back to center, bring your left hand back up and then walk your hands over to the middle of the mat again. Now bring both your hands to meet each other and then lift them up behind your head, coming into prayer position behind your head. You can even walk your elbows a little bit closer towards your head if need be. And then sink your chest down towards the mat. So we're getting deep into both shoulders here, just relieving tension in that area. That's where we love to hold a lot of it. Breathing into each pose. Letting it feel really, really good. One more inhale. Exhale, see if you can sink your chest a little bit more towards the mat. Bring your hands back out in front of you and then float all the way up to a tabletop position. From here, find a nice foundation. So knees beneath the hips and then hands beneath your shoulders. Inhale, draw the belly button down towards the mat as you send your gaze out in front of you, drawing your shoulder blades together, finding cow pose. 
exhale round the spine push the shoulder blades apart from one another and tuck in the pelvis tucking in the chin inhale arch exhale round inhale arch Just realized that I left my socks on. So you keep going <laughs> in cat cow, finding your own rhythm here. I'm gonna pop them off because we are gonna be doing down dog, and I always struggle to do down dog with socks on. So here we go. Beautiful job. And then from here, I want you to bring your body over to the left and forward, round all the way over to the right and then back. So what we're doing is warming up the wrists, lubricating that joint, it can be quite neglected. So sometimes just giving our wrists a little bit of 10 to 11K in the morning is really, really nice. And then let's go the other direction. And this also gets into our hips and lubricates that joint too, which is just a little bonus. So if you hear cracks, totally normal. We're just getting through the cobwebs. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So from here, this is a little bit challenging, but we're going to engage the core as we lift our right leg up to the chest and then see if you can step it through to find low lunge. So inhale, reach your arms all the way up to the sky, tuck in the pelvis so you feel a nice stretch in the front of your left hip. Deep breath here. One more inhale. And then as you exhale, float your hands back down, tuck your left toe, lift up your left knee, and then find easy twist, reaching your right arm up towards the ceiling. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, float your right hand back down, push back, find down and facing dog. Since this is the first down dog of the day, you may feel quite tense. You feel like you need to loosen up. So just pedal out your dog here, release the hamstrings. Feel free to keep a nice, generous bend in the knee. Remember, we don't have to have straight legs at all. Rather make sure that you have a straight spine. Beautiful job. Let's come back to our neutral down dog. Inhale, lift your right leg all the way up. Keep your hips square. So we're reaching our right toes down towards the mat. As you exhale, bring your right knee behind your right wrist and find a pigeon pose. So sink your hips down, either finding a 90 degree angle with your right foot or bring your ankle closer to your left hip. So that's kind of how you vary uh, the intensity in the stretch. Inhale, lift the chest all the way up. Exhale, float down and allow your body to just kind of fold over your right leg. Opening up the hip area. And then from here, you're gonna lift back up and then we're just gonna turn our body over towards our left leg. So I'm gonna turn around quickly. Um, but once you're here, your ankle is just quite nice and close to your groin area and then your left leg is out long. So you're going to plant your left hand down next to your left knee, reach your right arm up and over and just come into a side body stretch here. And if you feel like you need to go a little deeper, feel free to float your left hand a little bit lower down your leg. Last inhale, exhale it out, inhale, bring your right hand next to your glute and then sweep your left hand up and over coming into baby wild thing. So we're just lifting up our pelvis here and you'll feel a nice deep stretch in the groin area and then along your side body, inhale. Exhale, float back down. Beautiful job. And then we're going to come back 
into pigeon pose tuck the back toe so it'll be your left toes and then find downward facing dog again beautiful job float back down to tabletop position and then i'm just going to switch back over so that my back doesn't face you guys tuck your left knee into your chest as you step it through to find low lunge on the other side we're tucking in the pelvis here to feel a nice deep stretch in the front of your right hip inhale and exhale release relaxing the shoulders inhale as you exhale, float your hands back down, tuck your back toe, lift your right knee off the ground, and then come into easy twist, lifting your left arm up towards the ceiling. So you're twisting, twisting towards um, your knee. Float your left hand back down, find downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg rises up. Exhale, bring your left knee behind your left wrist and then float down into pigeon pose. Inhale, lift the chest up and then exhale, float down. So totally up to you here. My body definitely feels weird when I have a square sort of shape in the front here, like a 90 degree angle. So it doesn't have to work for you. Never feel like you have to have like the most advanced pose in order for it to work. That is not true. As long as you feel it, it's good enough. As long as you are in the correct alignment and you feel good and you feel the stretch, that means you're doing it. You don't have to be in the most advanced um, version of it for it to work, okay? So I am validating that for you. I'm a yoga teacher and I don't even do that. So. Totally up to you. All right, come all the way back up. We'll shift over to have our right leg out long, and then we can just shuffle our left foot in if that's more comfortable. Bring your right hand in front of your right knee, lift your left arm up and over, come into a side body stretch. And then if you want to go a little bit further, you can just walk your hand all the way down until you feel a good stretch in the side body and the groin area. Keeping the breath nice and steady. Come all the way back up, plant your left hand next to your glute and then sweep your right arm up and over, coming into baby wild things. So lifting up the pelvis here, reaching up and over. And then exhale, float all the way back down. Beautiful job. Let's find tabletop position again. And then from here, we're just going to walk our hands in front of us and sink our chest down towards the mat to so find puppy pose. Deep shoulder and heart opener. Deep inhale. Exhale, sink deeper. Really allowing your body to melt into this pose. Coming back to the intention that like you said in the beginning of class for the day, just keeping it in the front of your mind. Noticing some sensations that you're feeling that feel really good in this moment. Maybe you feel tension some way. Notice that too. And then from here, we're going to come forward into Sphinx pose. So you're just bringing your elbows beneath your shoulders here. Inhale, lift the chest as much as you can. From here, we're going to find a quad stretch. So we're just going to reach back for our right foot. This can be a kind of a weird <laughs> feeling pose, but it's, it's unique and it kind of wakes your body up. Deep inhale. As you exhale, pull your leg a little closer and let it go. Shift our weight over to the right and then do the same thing on the other side. Keeping the breath nice and steady. Deep inhale. 
Exhale, pull your leg closer. And then let it go. Now from here, tuck your toes back and then bring your knees out nice and wide. Push back into child's pose again. We are back where we started. Noticing the difference in the sensation of this pose from when we began. Noticing maybe the different thoughts that you're having, the different place that you are, even though that was not so long ago. And here is where you can close off your eyes and maybe just stay here for a few moments and think about the day ahead and, and focus on your intention to really set you up to have the best possible day. Thank you so much for joining me. I look so forward to seeing you in the next class. Namaste.